In today's episode, we're going to talk about writing a screenplay in one month, why you'd want to do it, the benefits of doing it, what to expect, and what not to expect. Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to another episode of Fast Screenwriting Daily. This is Fast Friday, where I talk unapologetically about the screenwriting system that I built called Fast Screenplay, which will take you to whatever professional results you have set your mind and sights upon if you simply take action every day and keep moving forward. So when I first named my system Fast Screenplay, I had many people tell me, don't name it Fast Screenplay. It sounds cheap. It sounds like something slick and superficial, and that's not really what writing involves. That's not what writing is all about. And I agree with those people, actually. I think they're right on the money, and the longer I've been at this, the more I have thought that the name Fast Screenplay has put more people off than any other thing that I've done. However, it is, in fact, the right, correct, and appropriate name for what I built, aside from obviously being the acronym for focus, apply, strengthen, tweak, the four phases of the writing process, which every writer has to go through, which mastering and making intuitive is the secret to becoming a professional. I also know that when you write faster, like literally faster, you can tap into that intuitive, creative source within your brain more effectively. And the way that I know this is because when we write fast, it enables us to bypass that negative voice, that judgment voice that we have, and connect more directly with our own intuitive, creative subconscious, which leads to stronger and more powerful writing. Now, it doesn't all come out brilliantly, which is why you need the four-part process. You need the strengthen phase, which is the rewrite process. You need the tweak phase, which is the polishing process. You need those two parts of the, the process in order to create something extraordinary. But if you plan ahead, if you focus your ideas into a story and then you blast out as quickly as possible, if you train yourself to get faster, you begin to develop the ability to create intuitively. So this is why a couple of years ago, I created a new tool that I infused into my screenwriting system called the fast draft. Now, in what I do in fast screenplay, it's really important to understand the difference between the acronym and the word. The acronym, I always spell in all caps, F-A-S-T. That stands for Focus, Apply, Strength, and Tweak, or the screenwriting system born out of that process. But the other version of the word is not in all caps, and it means literally what the word means, fast. It means speedy, it means quick. Now, to be clear, no one will ever care how fast you wrote your screenplay. It doesn't matter how quickly you get it from your brain to the page. What matters is how quickly people get it from the page to their brain. A fast screenplay is a screenplay that reads fast. It's a literal page turner. You can take 10 years to write a fast screenplay. If it grabs the reader, pulls them in, and will not let them go, then it is a fast screenplay. But we also want the benefit of writing quickly, of being able to tap into and harness that intuitive, creative essence of your brain, of your imagination. So what I did, one of the big advances to my system in the past couple of years, is I created a tool called the Fast Draft, lowercase letters, that's specifically designed to help you write a screenplay in one month. Now, to be clear, you're not going to write a screenplay you can sell in one month. To be able to do that, you need to not only go through the entire system, but actually make the whole system, the entire process intuitive. That's what leads to creating marketable, viable projects in as little as a month. What I'm talking about up front is being able to take all those ideas that are currently swirling around in your head and capture them and turn them into a fast draft in about a month or less. So why would you want to do that? Well, the first and probably primary reason is that when we have an idea that we fall in love with and we don't do anything with that idea, it gets stuck in our brain and we circle over it and over it and over it again and again and again and again. And what that does is blocks our brains from being able to create the next thing. If you haven't watched my TED Talk or you haven't heard me say this before, ideas 
spark ideas. That's how the human brain works. The reason it's so easy to go down a dark and scary rabbit hole of thought is because one idea sparks the next, which sparks the next, which sparks the next. Well, similarly with creativity, ideas spark ideas. So it's essential to take whatever idea you have and get it out of your head and onto the page as quickly as possible. Now you can start doing that right now with a simple exercise. Just set a timer for three minutes tell yourself i'm gonna start writing as soon as i click that button click that button and start writing and do not stop do not think about it just let whatever is going to pour out of you pour out of you it's the essence of the writer's block instant cure exercise that's so popular on this channel it's why a journal is so important or why daily pages are so important for a creative writer but we can take that whole idea that whole concept 10 steps further by simply focusing it on your story, on what you're imagining right now and how to capture what you're imagining in a draft that you're not judging, that you're not rewriting, that you're not tweaking, that you're not planning to send out into the world. Aside from the whole system itself, it is probably the most transformative tool that I have built for writers. And I wove it meticulously into the first phase of the system, the setup phase where we're preparing and pre-aligning your imagination so that when you start creating your stories, we're also clearing your imagination of those ideas that you've been stuck on and churning over and over for months, maybe years. In fact, just last week, small town movie critic wrote holy cow i almost cried when i typed fade out for 10 years i have read about screenplays tried writing one and this month i actually did it there has been a lot of bad stuff in 2020 but i am going to remember it as the year i wrote my screenplay Part of the reason for this kind of reaction is because it so deeply connects you with what you're trying to say. When you write that first screenplay, even if it's not something you can send anywhere yet, it can become completely cathartic for you. It can change who you are and give you a sense that this is doable, this is possible. And to be perfectly honest with you, that's why you can get half of this tool in the 10 day free start. And with the immediate launch bonus, you can even get the whole tool on day one. So in theory, and when you get good enough at the tool itself, you'll be able to take any idea and turn it into a fast draft in as little as three, seven days. Because it's not about writing a screenplay you're going to sell. It's about connecting with the ideas that are in your head and getting them out of you so that you can do something with those ideas. Now in my system, we use that tool to prepare you for the story development phase. So we can go 10 to 100 times further in the focus phase because you're not still going to be stuck on these ideas that you've overthought and overchurned. And then once you have the experience of taking an idea and turning it into a draft in one month or less, suddenly the job of screenwriting changes. It's no longer about can I do this? It's no longer about how long is this going to take? It becomes about how fast can I make this screenplay? How compelling can I make this for the reader? How good can I get at doing this? And it's that attitude and that mindset and that framework that's gonna get you where you're trying to go. Please let me know if this is clear, if you have any questions about any of this. If you haven't already done the 10 day free start, it's free. Go see how this tool works. Capture those ideas in your head, get them on the page. You can do half of this job for free, even if you don't learn the whole tool because you decide you're not gonna even join us for one month. Even if that's the case, the first half of it will take you further, faster than you even imagined possible. And remember, it doesn't matter how fast you write it. It's about connecting with the ideas and the creativity that's in your head. What matters is creating a fast reader experience. And you get there by taking consistent, ongoing daily action, by developing these skills every day and continuing to move forward. As you develop those skills, as you get better at that process, you become better at doing that more intuitively, more quickly, more fast. Now, we're going to be back on Monday with another Mindset Monday that's going to go right here. YouTube thinks you're going to like this video right here. 
I don't know what's on this side of the screen, but I'm pretty sure that this is the first half of the thing we've been talking about here. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. We will see you on Monday.